Okay. Yes, this thing might be on. Yeah, we're going to do a little demo here of a prototype site that is going to be perhaps part of the uh, Creative Commons certification project. You can find more about that elsewhere. Uh, this is a temporary site on uh, my GitHub account. It'll eventually, uh, hopefully soon move to Creative Commons, but this site is hosted uh, completely on GitHub. Uh, the, the thing that we're doing here, this map, is uh, an experiment in going from um, what people might be familiar with in terms of um, uh, information, a spreadsheet. This is a Google Doc uh, that has some of the planning that went on with a session a couple months ago, uh, trying to outline uh, some of the major competencies in and objectives in this certification project. And this is a uh, large spreadsheet. The left side has modules. Uh, there are um, performance objectives in light blue. And under each one, uh, we have uh, what are called enabling objectives. And uh, this scrolls uh, quite a ways uh, to the right, etc. And so we wanted to add a third dimension. So for each one of these yellow boxes of enabling objective, we want a place um, for people um, on the project team and hopefully the public to contribute, first of all, uh, open uh, educational license resources that we can use for this curriculum and some ideas as to how we might measure or assess this in a certification. So, you know, we've got this spreadsheet, uh, but there's quite a bit to it and it kind of goes uh, quite some distance. Uh, I've heard in physical form, it's about printed, it's about eight feet wide and that doesn't even have um, some of those pieces on it. Uh, so the idea here is to uh, create uh, kind of a way of representing that same information. So instead of those uh, left side modules here, um, the major uh, modules are on the left, and these are all um, open up uh, different series of these um, accordions on the right. And under uh, here, we've got defined copyright, might be what was in light blue before. And in each one uh, under copyright is the specific uh, enabling objective, what we want to do. So the idea is, um, can we use the affordances of GitHub to provide editing here um, without people getting tripped up in GitHub itself, which is kind of a thing. I'm trying to figure out GitHub, and, and I'm supposed to know this stuff. So what I'm setting up is this little bit. So this is a little bit of chunk of content, this 1.1.2. And if I want to be able to contribute to it, uh, I have this little magical um, icon. Now, right away, uh, I'm in Firefox where I'm not logged into GitHub. Um, we're going to be asking people to create a GitHub account to participate in here. Um, why? Um, to use some of the features of GitHub. But also, unlike a wiki where most of the edits are anonymous, uh, we want people to be able to own and get credit uh, for their contributions. And so um, that's one of the things that GitHub uh, will provide us. So I'm going to switch over to um, my fire, uh, my other browser where I am logged in, and I might cruise down to um, a different section here, maybe under the Commons and uh, Distribution, and I'm trying to find the one that I meant uh, to edit here. Uh, here goes my demo again completely uh, off the rails. Uh, compare scarce and amount of resources. Ah, <laughs> hang on a second while well, I try to find the, uh, the little section. I summarize digital distribution. So um, I'm gonna go into the section 2.3.2. .2. Uh, consider the internet as a copy machine. Okay, so I say I got something to uh, contribute to this, uh, perhaps a resource. So in fact, um, I found this video um, on YouTube, uh, the copy machine, copyright and the internet. Um, you know, and we want these to be open license. And here is some of the trickiness of uh, licensing itself. You know, it's one thing to know straight up if it's got a Creative Commons license. Stuff on YouTube that says, the clips shown are not my original work. This video is intended for educational purposes only under the fair use clause of the Copyright Act. Somewhere else we might figure out um, when we start exploring what fair use is, um, whether this one is actually considered open license. 
it's not always straightforward. And that's some of the um, reason why we're doing this particular project. But let's say I figured out that this is something I can reuse. So um, I want to add this um, to this resource. So I'm going to click this edit button and it's actually going to go um, to GitHub. I am logged in with one of my test accounts and we're going to be using uh, in GitHub not the editing part per se, but what are known as issues, which are usually a way um, to communicate to uh, software developers, maybe problems or suggestions or ideas. In this case, we're asking people um, to contribute ideas for information that should be um, added to uh, this particular um, concept. So it already in the title, it has suggestions for objective uh, limitations uh, and exceptions. And so one thing I can do is we're going to have a little bit of introduction. Um, and um, I think uh, we should say something about uh, the complexity um, of fair use. Um, this may not be appropriate, but if you want to make some um, comments about what we should include in an introduction to this particular objective, that's one thing. Um, but here I'm just going to add a resource. So um, this already has like a little bit of a template in here. So it's going to be uh, copyright um, and the, the internet is the name of the video. Um, and I've got the URL. Um, we're asking you to figure out who this stuff is published from. So uh, this is someone named Edward uh, Jerkowitz. So we'll thank you, Edward, first. Um, standard, and we can say what license this is, um, YouTube license, which is not necessarily open license, uh, makes fair use claim. Um, not sure if it is valid. So, you know, if you're not exactly sure, um, the people who are going to be reviewing this um, will sort of make that. And you you can add three, you can actually add more. Um, we're also asking um, you for um, some ideas about um, this particular thing, how we might measure or assess an activity um, that someone might do um, to be, uh, to explain this uh, objective about um, the internet not being um, a copy machine. So um, uh, we would say, um, uh, develop uh, an infographic, this is not going to be a great activity, um, that um, illustrates the differences uh, and similarities uh, of a copy machine. Um, not the greatest thing. So I'm going to submit this as a new issue. Um, more or less, what this is, uh, this is the information uh, that I sent. Um, even if I want to add a comment like, um, oh, I think I made a typo. Um, so this will go to the project, I spelled typo wrong. This will go to the project team um, who will then um, uh, add this uh, to the particular map itself. So if you really don't want to get involved with GitHub editing, uh, you could um, just send us information this way. We really appreciate it. It'll become part of the project. Um, but the other way is if you really want to get into this, and so that's what we're experimenting with here, maybe some people actually do want to get in and really actually edit uh, the content. So if you have a GitHub account and you're comfortable with um, doing a little bit of uh, work here, um, we could say, okay, I'm actually going to edit this file. And so now I'm in the HTML mode. So I'm going to say, um, uh, uh, in many ways, uh, the duplication of content uh, seems like a copy machine, but the ability to uh, 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 share more widely um, at virtual no material uh, cost uh, is different. So I said I got some ideas here for the title. Um, I actually can add in uh, that YouTube video. 
if I know my HTML, so I'm going to do an href equals tag. Um, oops. And so I got to get this URL. That's what happens when we plan our demo. Um, copyright and the internet. Um, and I'm going to put in parentheses the source YouTube video by uh, Edward. I'll just put J for now and I'll get that. And then so I could actually um, come back and even add an objective idea. Um, uh, produce a three act play about copy machines. Again, I should have thought of a better demo example. One of the things we're not sure of is like, how much detail do we want for um, uh, an activity or an assessment idea? Um, because we want to be able to fold this into the Creative Commons certification. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. So we're going to say um, added YouTube video. Um, not sure if its fair use claim is valid. So any change that you do in GitHub, if you actually are going to do an edit, um, you can signal um, uh, what it means. Now, the thing about GitHub right here, um, this account that I'm using has been added as a collaborator uh, to the account. So if you're really uh, interested in doing this, you can contact us. And collaborators actually give you direct change um, to make that edit. Um, if you're someone who just wants to do a few things but do understand GitHub, uh, you have to get involved with uh, uh, making a branch and forking it and submitting it as a pull, all that hairy GitHub stuff that we're trying to save people necessarily from understanding. But we want to make room for all kinds of uh, participation. But because I'm a collaborator with this account, um, I've just made an update, and if my demo really works here, I'm going to reload this, and I'm going to go back uh, to 2, and distribution, and internet as a copy machine, and look, there is my link. So I've just added directly uh, to this. This is an experiment. Uh, we're trying to use some of the uh, capabilities of GitHub as a collaborative environment as a place for people to contribute, um, as a way to have it done on the open web. We're not sure if it's going to work, uh, but we hope it does. Thank you.